All right. So, for anyone who is still here, let's do some investigation now. So, yesterday, we explored our new area, and we saw all the research labs, basically. And that was pretty fun. We saw all the research labs, and then, uh, what else happened? We did a bunch of free times, and we got the motive video, which we saw uh, Kaito and his grandparents uh, chilling. And then Monokuma let us know that basically that their gra his grandparents had died in an accident soon after. Quote unquote accident. <laughs> want to keep this as a co-op stream? Sure, why not? You want to join me? Sounds good, man. Uh, let me call you in Discord. Hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hello? Uh, was that a struggle watching us or what? Oh, I think you still have push talk. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. You right. I can't hear you if you can hear me. Where'd my mouse go? Okay, hang on. I can hear the game. I cannot hear you. Yeah, okay. We good? Okay, yeah, I hear you now. Okay. Alright, you can see the game? We good? Yep. Yep. Game's fine. All right. All right. So we saw yesterday. We saw Ryoma killed during the magic show, Himiko and Angie's Angie's magic show. And so now we're starting the investigation. He was eaten by piranhas. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What's wrong? Oh, that's me, right? Yeah. Okay. Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. You're my sidekick from now on. I'm gonna do a Chars, cause I don't remember. Your sidekick? <laughs> I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. So I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. Uh, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? So. Oh, you're right. Thanks. I'll, I'll update that yeah. eventually. Probably tomorrow or tonight, I guess, after the stream. Yeah. I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Oh. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Monokuma file. Why did he stop saying that? It makes me uh, mad. I don't know. I liked it. I don't know. It was great. It was great in the first two games. Yes, right. Kaido making making me his sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. 3-5? He like is midget. a midget. I know. The, the body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. Oh, so he died from the drowning. Okay. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Well, that's good. I think. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. The time of death isn't written here. Mm -hmm. Huh? The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rontaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. We the estimated time of death is 910. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fer fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Wait, when did Rantaro die? <laughs> I mean, no, nah, it seems like ages ago. <laughs> but the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. Did Monokuma mess up? No, this was intentional. 
Might want to update game and title. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. thanks, man. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that he would reveal the culprit. All right, I'll do that now then. Now here's the voice acting I paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Hype, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, I'm just curious. Do you have any any ideas who you think might have didn't done it? Um, I feel like I want to get some truth bullets before I that's, decide. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's it's quite hard to say. Yeah, it is really you hard get to any say. Truth bullets. What a cool told you wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Ah, there you go. I know I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. We almost cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file 2, okay. Alright, now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. Alright. Oh my goodness, there's so many characters. There's so many characters. It's a large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. Well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Gosh, that would have taken five ever. <laughs> it was a lot to clean, a lot of cleanup, but we at least, at least we can inve investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Is it going to be me and Kaito? Are we going to be together the entire time? Mostly. Okay. I'm wondering maybe if you should take one just so that I'm not talking to myself I mean, the whole time. If you, if you want me to take one, sure, but Cause I'm not sure, up to you. I'm not sure how important it is to be talking to the other people here. We'll see. Alright, we'll, we'll just keep going for now. Because you broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should, thir I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Uh, this is what stood out to me the most here. Handcuffs. Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. And there are just small scratches <gasps> on them. <laughs> the nice. Cuffs, <laughs> cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. They weren't it. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might be might have handcuffs is... Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. Is that true? So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. Scratch handcuffs? Okay. There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this pane? Square glass pane. Huh. I'm getting nothing so far. I do not know what is going on. The fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There are so many tiny pieces. Gonta and Tenko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. <laughs> that was awesome. I forgot that it was Kibo they threw. Yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> Sorry. Bones. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what it, he was. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. I'm certain of it. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. The water filled with blood so fast, we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. 
Jeez, I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No, I don't think that's right, Kaizo. Ryoma said he wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us, who wanted to live. Huh? What do you mean he was jealous? I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. Then, he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn it! That idiot! Mm. No truth bullets from these. Yeah. Bones. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered here. Gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, and keys in the key to his room. I leave for one minute and I come back to see the blue and orange goop gone in his place. Bones, a hat, and some pink goop that still has a ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came at the perfect time. We just started the investigation. So, hype. That's it. If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Hmm? What's in his room to investigate? The motive video. Ooh, I forgot. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then, you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? I can't say for certain, but we should check, just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that now. Yo, Kokichi, you should help us solve this murder. Yeah, Kokichi, you don't just slack off, like you normally do. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously, dude. Furious. <laughs> It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up, picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonta would do what, that with his spare hands. Oh wait, yes I can. <laughs> uh, how about you take Kaido? From now all on. right, just do it. Uh, when I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Yeah, ha ha. Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul, so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Can he really go there just looking like this? Those piranhas sure are, sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. What are you talking about? I noticed it just as the show started. I feel like there were more piranhas today than yesterday when we were when we were preparing. Hmm. More piranhas? What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could re reproduce that fast. But compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed into that tank. Ah, so they looked more cramped together. <laughs> the water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many pe how many more piranhas were there. But anyway. He was super, 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 super cramped. <laughs> super, 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 super cramped. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Cramped piranhas, okay. Wait, what if one person got their own motive video, then that would cause a lot of chaos. They're their own suspect. <laughs> Alright, that's <laughs> Yoriyama all. has his own video. Yeah, he killed himself. <laughs> Alright, that's all I want to see around the water tank. Okay. Let's check that light panel. What is this? It is the, it is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the pad the, the banner the the baton. Baton? What? The baton? I don't even know what that is. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, I see. So nothing. Okay. I should investigate the stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. Timer. Given to how often Ryoma says he has nothing to live for, suicide might be on the table. Eh, he said he didn't want to kill. He didn't say he didn't want to give his life up, though. Just straight up. This is a timer that I was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Okay. Also, I'm not sure drowning yourself would be the best way to commit suicide. Yeah, I think your body would have like some kind of involuntary thing with that, actually. I feel like. Yeah. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. 
Yo, is there anything? <laughs> Alright, let's just talk to Keto Man, I guess. <laughs> Finally talking to someone, I see. Yeah. You were, you were helping set up the show, right, Keto Man? Did you hear anything about the trick? No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my, my help consisted of sewing the banners and curtains. So I do not know the details of her trick. Oh, please. If she, if she is a killer here and I waste my free time, I'll be so salty. How many free times did you do with her? Two. Ah. I see. So who, who did you spend all the free time with? Two with her? How Two many with her with and three with Himiko. I see. So yes. far. What? You don't have a truth bullet either? Alright. I guess not. When I stood on stage and looked up, the prono tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now, and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it has a lid. I can see this. I can see the ceiling straight through, and only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the prono tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Oh yeah, the tank was from Himiko's research lab. Hey Kaido, you helped carry supplies for the show, right? Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work, but I just helped carry it. I wonder how much they. I wonder how they hung it from there. It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It could have. It couldn't have been easy. Easy to lift. It seems this is where the, the lighting bat uh, baton for the gym is attached. Uh, key to me. The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the bat the baton. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raise it again. Hmm. I never knew lightning, lightning bat batons were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. Since it was built so, since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Piranha tank. Okay. Anything else here? Fine. What? Oh, the curtain up there. Where is it? Oh. I totally didn't even notice. <laughs> Don't be my streamer friend. Don't hang out with victims and killers. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Uh, yeah, but... Oh, it's too high to reach, huh? Yeah, it is pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the Prana tank. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Kaido quickly headed off to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. But you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Uh, yeah. I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. Hmm. You can just barely reach the window with this, and if you open the curtain... Ah, uh, the window is open! If the window is open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's a pool. A pool, huh? I heard we had, I heard we had one here somewhere. Alright, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Hmm. Uh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. Uh, might seem like it's pushing it. We'll see. The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Marked window frame. Yo. Yo, sup? thanks, Captain Savage, for the Twitch Prime sub, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for your money. I can get nothing. <laughs> Easy so. <laughs> Thanks, man. I climbed down the uh, from the ladder to the stage. You done investigating the window? Then I'll go put the ladder back. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaito. Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. <laughs> I've investigated everything I want to on the stage. Hmm. We all done here? Let's go. Yeah, okay. Alright. So. Alright, alright. Let's talk to Himiko. 
Yo, let's go. All right, I'm sure you're excited. Let's go. Yeah, my magic was supposed to make everyone smile. D don't worry, everyone is smiling. Uh, I don't know about that, Tanko. <laughs> Easiest money B has ever made, basically. <laughs> Uh, I don't think any of us can smile right now. <laughs> Himiko, if it's all right, are you able? Are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. <laughs> You're still saying that? You you understand the situation we're in? No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. <laughs> Your voice is so good. I love it. But... Okay! Your time's up! The Q&A session is now over! Unless you want to feel the full volcan volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido! Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idol events. <laughs> oh, come on, Himiko. Literally nothing. It was magic, I already <laughs> told you. Alright, uh, you're right. Uh, that's right, we need to ask Angie about the stage. Hey Angie, I wanted to ask you some questions about the stage. Yep, I was in charge of all the arts. I even built and painted the stage. Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see, I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, by the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank in the stairs. And the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Me and Kibo helped with that. We had the tank out of pulley, but because it was so huge, it was, a, it was still a lot of work. And I asked Kurumi to, to sew the curtains, because I hate sewing. So basically, it was all thanks to Atua that this show was a success. Based Atua. Oh, hang on. Uh, Maria Samoon. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Yo, there you go. Uh, Marissa. Sa Marissa. Marissa Moon. I'm sorry I mispronounced that so horribly <laughs> the first time. All right. No, it's, it's because of all this. It's, it's because of all us. Was it really a success? By the way, were the piranhas your idea? On its own, the Underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. I thought it would make it- I, I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we use piranhas. How's that make it divine? That's oh. what Atua told me. Never mind, I understand now. <laughs> Never so, mind, I understand. <laughs> so Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? And about the piranha tank and the timer, those were from Himiko's lab, right? correct? Yep, yep. According to the piranha tank's manual, it's synced up with the timer. Why is there a manual? <laughs> <laughs> when the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will automatically open. <laughs> I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. If Himiko really did use magic, then her magic still has a ways to go. How many of these memes do you have, dude? <laughs> and right when we are finished the prep, right when we finished the prep work, and are about to take a break. <laughs> Gonta captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Yeah, ha ha ha. When Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't get back to work in the gym. Oh yeah, can't enter the gym at nighttime. So we decided to come to the gym today, before the morning announcement. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved when the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got here. There. What's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of this because this confusing incident? Yes. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Cause Atua is with us. What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. That was pretty close. Nothing to worry about. Nothing can escape Atua's sight. Not even the culprit. Yeah, <laughs> Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. And she's starting to sound more and more. Creepy. Alright. Still didn't get any tree bullets? Come on! Who needs tree bullets? I want I have to talk to everyone. In huh? this in this day and age. Alright, you know what? Bullets. We're gonna well, we're gonna save Gonta for last. You know, save the best for last. So. 
I see. I'm glad Himiko made this game made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Time to get to work and hard time to get time to work hard and solve this mystery. Get ready, Kobe, because here I come. Yuko Kichi voice is pretty good. I feel Kokichi, like Kichi, why don't you voice a, why don't you voices for us, dude? Yeah, Kokichi, get in this this get in this call. Am I Sumugi? <laughs> no, no, no I'm Sumugi. sorry. Dude, who am I? <laughs> I don't have any characters. Uh, <laughs> they all died. Me... Yeah, like all your characters are dice. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't be able to know he won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him? And he murdered a look like him of himself in order to sabotage her show. Do you know what this is a reference to? No. I'm not gonna say because it it's a spoiler for the movie that it is a reference to, so. Or something like that. It it happened before probably. Alright, this is me. Hey! Flemlad! Flemlad! There's something I need to, you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gunter capture you guys last night. The hell was that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Oh yeah. Tell me too. I was also running, so I didn't. I don't know what went on. Vector Kita, thanks for the fall, man. How did Miyu escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Yeah. Chop chop, you slimy shit! Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Ki Kyo, Sumuki, Tenko, and I. PS4 dead characters at McDale has zero. <laughs> Dude, that's the classic. Is I... that including is that including Monokid? No, yeah, it, it must be because it include, he's yeah. It's four characters that including Monokid. Yeah. That's the nuts nuts. That's pretty impressive. How did you I do know. that? How did you know? Oh, of course I guess you knew, but that's crazy. I did, but like, you know, I had a lot of like I had a lot of stuff going on in my head when I was assigning these characters, but Yeah. Sure. Himiko and Angie were brought in later. From the gym, right? Exactly, and Kokichi left the room after, around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. Monica's Monica is under both of us. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, then I... Yeah, honestly, uh, take take Kaito back for now. Okay, yeah, sure. Because, like, you have four characters dead, and you just gave me <laughs> <You're>... Kaito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to play this game. <laughs> well, we're all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 9, 11 p.m. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kirumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is thanks to uh, the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meat and greed bullshit? <laughs> oh yeah, my Monica is supposed to be Monotaro. That's my bad. Uh, oh, okay, it's all good. When I... By the way, Miyu, how are you able to get away from Gonta? Hmm? Uh, uh, well... Oh, uh, she said she used... He said she used her woman powers! <laughs> she used her boobs, dude! <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh... I had to use, uh, my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. Secret woman weapon? <laughs> Uh, hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Is she trying to laugh it off? <laughs> Shuichi, let's just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire you out. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. It's like being greet. That's my adequate truth bullets, okay? Talk to those two. Do I need to talk to Kaido? I will anyway. My first command to my new psychic is... Mom's secret woman weapon must be that nuke she put in Kibo's body. Dude. Where is Mom. Kibo, by the way? He's not even here. No, Kibo's like right behind Kaito, I think. I mean Kibo in chat. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I mean IRL Kibo. <laughs> Investigate everywhere and find clues. Don't overlook anything. You got it? Alright. 
If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic! Got it? I use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko! You got that right. <laughs> it's magic! But if, but if we don't understand the magic trick, how can we possibly survive the trial? What up, Kibo? Is that me? Or you? It's, it's me. That's you. Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is when was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. No, that's wrong. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. In other words, everyone who's watching the show isn't suspicious. Uh. <laughs> Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? No! But I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. You got it? I'm not suspicious. I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kiba does have a point. All right. Don't forget Kyo. Don't forget Kyo. Very right. You can see his oh, I did. <laughs> I was actually wondering what that was. <laughs> I had no idea what that was. Ryoma must have died sometime before this very second. Man, 200 IQ play right there. I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening in such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the Cobra come in such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? I don't think that was the sole motivation. There is some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Does someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Since the show, since the show was used, we must, invest, we must investigate the trick as well. Hmm. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything else to investigate backstage? No. Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. No, Gonta. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We followed Kyo backstage. You forget about Gonta? <laughs> Ooh, rope. How does Kyo talk with that mask on his face? He's, there's a it's zipper very, there. <laughs> very creepily, is how. This is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? Hmm. I estimate it's roughly 65 feet in length. Dang. Good eye. You can tell just by looking at it? That's what I'm thinking. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. Okay. <laughs> when, when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. Oh. <laughs> I find that deeply disturbing. But I have to focus on this investigation. <laughs> anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Apparently not! <laughs> this staircase goes up to the top of the stage. There's a zipper on the mask, one that never opens. Eh, yeah, I mean... At first glance, there's nothing particularly suspicious about it. There might be some trick to it, but only a magician would know. I think you mean a mage. Is that it? What? What else do I have to tell? Probably Kaito and oh. and or yeah, okay. oh, there's also the backs. Yeah. Is there something here? Yeah. No. Let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. Thank you, Kaito. There's nothing strange about it from behind, other than the large size. It's a normal tank. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. <laughs> Very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? Isn't, is that not a trap door for the, for the tank? Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryama got in there. That is true. There's a high probability that they use the same route to reveal how Ryama got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. <laughs> okay, okay, Kyo. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Since the show is used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here. Huh? Okay. 
Uh, near the ground. Unless it's oh, the open window as well, I guess. I know we just saw it, but that window was open, right? Yeah, and the pool's on the other side, isn't it? Let's go check it out later. The culprit must have gone in and out of the gym from there. And in addition to that, the window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. That should be related because I should remember it. Okay, thank you. Well, I think you're still missing something. Yeah, I must be. Oh, the puddle. There's a puddle. Yeah. Hey, yeah. This, is, this is a trap door. No, it's magic. Oh, okay. I see no hidden door, so it's hidden. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> what? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who is wet was here, doing something. Changing wet clothes? But how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the staircase? This may be a vital clue for understanding the water underwater escape trick. Trick? I think it's magic. Are you calling my are you calling my magic a trick? There's, There's still, still more. Am I am I blind? Alright, now now I'm confused. Am I blind? No, I'm blind as well. If if we're being blind. Can you can't, maybe, like, need, maybe I need to ask him about it now that we have that information. Maybe? Is there something here? No, let's decide that after we search it. Let's investigate anything that stands out. Okay. I have to be blind. Open window. Oh, water tank, puddle, rope. Stage staircase. staircase. We already talked to both Kyo and I guess we have a physical staircase, maybe? We, we looked at the staircase. I mean, I guess we could check it, check it again. Okay. The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the side are wet. That might have to do something to do with the puddle next to it. Thank you. Uh. I'm basically just for everything to do with the stage. Okay. But I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, how long are you going to investigate here? We still got to find the culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Uh, wait, Kaito. Okay. Keep going, to. Let's go. Let's go. Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. Gonta, what's wrong? When Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had uh, dived into tank, then Gonta could help Ryoma. But Gonta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Sorry, Gonta, really sorry. I better try and apologize so easily. I knew that you had jumped in. They just would have eaten you too. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonta. Huh? Really? Does it say that in the Monokuma file? You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? No, Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. What are you talking about? If you've got time to apologize, you've got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Information only Gonta know? Remember? During the show, you went up to the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Y yeah. Who's going to worry about Himiko? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? Mm -hmm. No, Gonta, Gonta see no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. Mm. Oh, you can't go in like that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by, eaten by piranhas. Huh? But. When the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Ryoma was in that the tank, right? Yeah, that's right. Then when did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Gonta dunno. <laughs> Everyone see Ryoma in tank when piranhas drop it drop in. After that. Sorry. Gonta should have watched tank better. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Y yeah. You right. But, this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. 
Even if Himuko had just appearing, was part of the underwater escape act. How did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himuko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point of this case. I feel like I'm getting some. I'm, I'm getting some ideas about what's going on. I... Wait, don't pur don't piranhas eat dead bodies? They wouldn't have killed Riam. Oh wait, they eat small mammals too. Never mind. Nice one, Kokichi. <laughs> Rip. He's so tiny. I believe we've investigated everything we need to do for now. Well, our investigation's over now. So who's the culprit? I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? Ferris, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room to find out which motive, motive video he had. Then, I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Last of all, to the Ultimate Magician's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hey! <laughs> it's magic! I don't know, man. So we've still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's going to be you doing all the heavy lifting here. Uh, right. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way to respond to that? Alright. Uh, can I just teleport? No, dude. We ain't teleporting anywhere. We walk Yeah, in. there you go. Learning. Uh, so I'm getting some ideas about what happened. <laughs> Ryoma was in the tank with the piranhas. Mm. He was in the piranha tank and he dropped with them. The glass thing, the glass thing, and the, the glass pane at the bottom of it is from, is a separator that, uh, the separate that separated Ryoma and the Piranhas in the small tank. Oh, I see. I feel like. That would, that would make sense, yeah. Where am I going? Pool? Should I go pool first? Uh, Which a bunch of areas. Right? There's, there's Himiko's thing you just passed. I did just pass it. Let's uh, go to Himiko's yeah. first. <laughs> yeah, there's that, the pool, and I forget where else, but I think he'll remind... I think he'll kind of say. So Ryoma was likely killed, in my opinion. He's drowned in the Piranha Tank. Oh yeah, he wanted to investigate Ryoma in his ultimate lab as well. Yeah, that's right. I feel like he drowned in this room. Hmm, so this is Himiko's research lab. What are we going to investigate again? The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure that out, how, figure out how it works. You would think someone would notice a dead body in a tank that's only half Piranha, half Dwarf. I mean, he's pretty small, man. <laughs> Half dwarf. <laughs> well, you say that, but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? Well, that would be a problem. But it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. <laughs> that guy. Let's talk to Kukichi person. Hey, Shuichi. You want to talk to me about something? I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. Is that right? When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You sneak into our rooms to steal our mo you snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? Was that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Yama was probably was probably killed b before or after. Which makes every which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone was doing their own thing. And what were you doing then? It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was at last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, go to Bright Himiko and Angie. That was about five minutes before 9 p.m. Right after that, I left Gunther's lab and headed towards the, the dorms. I thought, it, I thought I'd be back in an hour, instead of nighttime, but something happened. Something happened? Right when I got, got into the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That's, that was right after I left Gunther's lab, so it was right around 9pm. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. 
Then she started criti criticizing my behavior and lecturing, lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she, who does she think she is? My mom or something? <laughs> she is ultimate mom. Didn't you ask Kirumi to be your mom earlier? She just kept talking. When fi when, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. When nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. What? She was starting to bore me, so I turned around and leave then. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss, Ma Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. Is that a request? <laughs> And then I guess Kurumi decided to, t to take tag super, tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end she caught me by little, a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. <laughs> so do your alibi still hold up, even when she was chasing you around? We ran into each other a, a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Now from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kirumi have alibis. After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gunther's lab, it was already 11 p.m. <laughs> Tag and lecturing. What do you mean, Brandon? Translate, come on, ultimate maid, kill me if you can. Dude, she could destroy him. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't ha have an alibi. Is that a request? <laughs> to kill Kokichi? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. Me? You? <laughs> it was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. The girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? Teach his account. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gunther yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were, where were you? And what were you doing? I was running around the whole time. I hid in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Hmm, I see. What's up, Sumugi? What are you doing here, Sumugi? Huh? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. <laughs> I didn't realize. I never. I didn't realize how often she said plane. <laughs> she starts doing it like after chapter one, honestly. Oh, really? Uh, is that so? No. So, did you find any clues? I'm still thinking about that. I don't. Don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found. I still haven't found anything. <laughs> then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. But I think that. I think that leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Can't be Miu, it must be Kibo in a bikini running around at midnight while Miu used her woman weapon on Gonta. <laughs> Alright. Sumugi gave Kokichi a meaningful glance. So I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. Mm. That way, even plain old me can help out. So plain. I think you know who killed Ryoma. It's the, it's the killer who's it's 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 he's he's he's, he's always been the killer. Hajimim. Ah, of course. How could I forget? <laughs> it's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. It looks like the same. Looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out of here. And perhaps when we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of the trick. Courage, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or mechanism. Hmm? What's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up there? But wait, oh, wait, perhaps it isn't random. Well, probably not, Shuichi. <laughs> this segment had to open up here. Water tank trick. What is that little thing for, though? Like, you can't get out from there. I don't know. It's for my magic. Uh, let's go to. Yeah, uh, that's just. Sorry. Let's go to his tennis pro. 
lab now, I think. Walks back in a gym, there's like five more people dead. <laughs> All from the what Pranas. The, the Pranas is yeah. even bigger. <laughs> oh no. It's up here, right? It's upstairs? Uh, yeah, it is upstairs. Okay. It's like right here upstairs. Oh, never mind. This is the wrong staircase. No, nope, never mind. No, it, no, I'm sorry. You keep going upstairs. Okay. I forgot that there was this floor. Yeah, there should be everyday insect meet and greets. That would be the worst, dude. That would terrify me. That's so nasty. <laughs> the ultimate test for his lab. If I'm right, Ben, the handcuffs that were found in the tent came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. The net's down. Is that it? What's the matter, Shuichi? I think my faith has been very slightly restored in Bunny Girl Senpai after today's. Dude, I gotta watch it. I'm excited for it. Uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. I haven't been watching that anime, but I've, I've been thinking about it, maybe. You watching anything that's airing right now? Oh, the... JoJo's? I'm watching that. I'm watching the time I was reincarnated as, as a slime. Yo, dude, we're watching that too. And don't tell us, don't say anything about the most recent episode, but the first three episodes are really good. I dude, love it's it. such a good show so far. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's so much fun. We should take care of that problem first. I'm also watching SAO Season 3. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. What do you think of it? Pretty good so far, like surprisingly good so far. Yeah, I think it's alright. Though, I gotta admit, it's been so long since I watched SAO, so I was like, pretty confused what happened in the beginning. You guys, like, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, Jay Degner watched the most recent one. I haven't. I haven't though. <laughs> Jay Degner, let's post spoilers. This is the first time I've been in here. Oh wow, okay, the, the shower room, right? It's a shower room, yeah. but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pros. And more like the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. No. What's a good show? Kokiji? Uh, Kokiji, the good shows that we are watching are... That time I was reincarnated as a slime is really good. Uh, Start on online is pretty decent. I don't think it's as good as slime. And uh, Jake Dagner is watching Bunny Girl Senpai as well. And I haven't seen the most recent episode, but I'm watching that as well. And I'm watching JoJo. Oh yeah, he's watching good JoJo. I'll catch up on that show eventually. What you told me about the second part of season one, it convinced me to give it another shot, so. Nice. Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Yeah, I think they did. Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. Oh, can't see anything. Oh, there we go. There they are, the handcuffs. Look, Kaito, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or oh, wait, are they the same? I think so. Here, look. See, one empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hang hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Scratch handcuffs, okay. That it? Okay. My question is why that why is that one screw bent at like a crazy angle? Yeah, seriously, I did notice that. I've uh, seen a few clips of the slime anime. Looks good, but I'm a bit busy posing and yelling Buddha for eight pages right now. Yo, nice. What does that mean? That's a JoJo reference. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. I never would have gotten it. <laughs> this window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. Hmm. This is probably that window. I should open it to make sure. Just as I suspected. The window you can see from the pool is a window to Ryoma's lab. Huh, a pool. Hmm? Wait up, we're on the third floor, so we're pretty high up, yeah? If you did just right, I think you could jump right into the pool from here. Yeah, you can swim at any time other than nighttime. It said that the in the it said that in the school rules and the pools in the rules in the pool area as well. I see. Well, I don't want to swim, so that doesn't really affect me. 
Okay. Wait a sec, what's this? Huh? Look, there's weird scratches on the window frame. You're right, there are definite abrasions here. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I'm positive that these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold, even with a lot of weight on it. Now you understand, right, Shuichi? What? How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. It's on a day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. <laughs> Marked window frame, okay? Hey, you gotta look at the monitor. Obviously. Oh, always look at the monitor. <laughs> this is a pretty big stone sink. You could fill it up with a lot of water. What's this? Scratches on the stone. Like something was scraped against it. You're right! What made them? These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Very interesting. What are all these scratches? It's Wolverine, <laughs> dude. I wouldn't doubt it. Ultimate Wolverine. <laughs> Ultimate Wolverine. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. You don't know if they're important yet. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab. There are too many points of concern to be mere coincidence. It must be important evidence. It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. Alright, then on to the next place. There's no point staying here. Right. Have you seen My Hero Academia? Yeah. Caught up on the third, nice. finish the third season. Yeah. You, you, did you finish it too? Yeah. Nice. So, where should we go? Oh. <laughs> As he came out of the shower room, Kaido tripped and fell into the ground. The hell? Something's caught on my leg! Uh, it looks like a cable. <laughs> Is this for the tennis net? Man, whoever left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait, the tennis net? I see. So that's why this room felt on. I just noticed that too. I should investigate this in detail. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Dude, your viewers say oof a lot. Is that a thing now? It's just my friends just... Is that a young people a joke. thing? <laughs> it's, just, it's just my friends just being weird. Got it. The reason I thought this net, this room felt off is because of the net. When I came here last time, the net, the tennis net was up. But now the cable has been removed. So like, someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? Kaido, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need, it's just about 50 feet long. What? Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. You're insane, dude. Sick. You're in the tennis club? That's why. It pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Did you know Ryoma from before? I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. I mean, these days, there's no way, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He's like a hero to every tennis kid. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on him. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Does something about it bother you? No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm, so detectives got bothered, get bothered by small details, huh? Like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. What is that analogy? <laughs> Tennis net cable. I don't know about this one. All right, I searched the whole area now. We should move on to the next one. There's other places left to search. Uh, do I need to check the pool? I do need to check. The, I need to check the pool and Ryoma's room, right? Is that it? Yeah, I think. Okay. You definitely do need to get those. I'm not sure what else. Okay. If if anything else. Some might. Um, some might. More might pop up. Uh, okay. Well, guess I'm walking. You go to Gonta's lab and say hi to some insects. Uh. 
<laughs> it's so gross. It's so gross. Slimy yet satisfying. You don't even know what that's <laughs> from, do you? No, yeah, Lion King. Okay. Did, did, haven't you not seen? If someone hasn't seen Lion King, I'm not sure if I've actually like seen the movie, but I I know quotes at least. Please watch Lion King. I think I told you I would ban you from my channel because of that, actually. Okay, I you never I we've never had this conversation before. Yeah. It was definitely someone else that you talked to this about. <laughs> it was Jay Degner. Jay Degner also thought it was insane. Uh, Ryoma, there you are. All right, just uh, anything in here? This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's this video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put it on his bookcase. Kind of opened all the drawers one by one. Checking each of them. Hmm, that's weird. I can't find it anywhere. I see. So we can't find it. That's all right. It's a clue in itself. Huh? What do you mean? You see, if the supposed motive for the crime was the video, there's a high prob possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. That's true. And the video is not in the room, which means. So it's just like we thought. That video was the motive. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think of. All right, that's just what I'd expect from my top sidekick. Why would that video make them want to kill them, though? Like, I mean, if Shuichi showed Kaito his motive video, it's not like Kaito would want to kill Shuichi, right? It's not Shuichi. Well, I, th I think I think it's like that would give Kaito the motive to kill, and like. Oh, I see. I see. Just... Not okay. Gotcha. Not necessarily. Yeah target someone specific yeah just the motive to kill in general got it that makes sense it seems like it wouldn't want to kill the per you wouldn't want to kill the person who had your motive video though just because yeah. it seems more suspicious hmm. sorry I'm getting situated here <laughs> you're good it right. looks like some comfy stuff I'm trying What's the matter, Shuichi? Uh, nothing. By the way, I was thinking. Maybe we should all should have watched those motive videos after all. What? They showed the most important people to us, right? So maybe we should have watched them. Without looking away from the truth. At the time, I agreed with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. And we were worried about watching them alone. We couldn't just watch them together. Watch them together? Oh. Yeah, we should have gathered everybody, gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible with everyone. So that's what, that's what cooperation is, right? That's what Kukichi was trying to do. Huh? Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? No. If that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Could have just asked us. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. Maybe he did what maybe he did want us to cooperate. But there's no way to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Hmm. Alright, so nothing in here. Okay, good. So pool time, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pool's on the right side, back here? Yes. Yeah, with dolphins. Yep. Okay, so what do we have here? Whoa, Yo, tire yeah. swing. Pop Let's go. That's not an inner tube, that's a tire. Okay, it's an inner tube. <laughs> that's an inner tube floating in the pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. 
Oh, Pog Champ. Let's go. What the heck are my voices for these two? Don't look at us. I think that was Martha. I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Right now. You know, Monodem. You know, Monodem might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? Idiots. We're not here to play. We're here to smack these jerks in the pits of hell. We're the Monocubs. The meanest, nastiest, cruelest mas uh, mascots around. If you don't get it, I'll throw you all into the pool myself. Oh, please don't! Monosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? You saying that if we don't get along, you'll I'll, I'll end up like Mana Kid? Ooh. Ooh. The rest. So then, it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the Monocubs? Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case? If we were just for playing around, then. Why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. Oh, I guess it's actually not related to the case. <laughs> or not a truth bullet anyway. Ooh, is that Ryoma's clothing? Huh? There's something else floating in the pool. It looks like a little piece of fabric. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, yes, but... Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. Nice. Geese. Anything else? We opened that, right? So. The monitor. <laughs> yeah, the monitor, always. <laughs> you can see the gym's window over there. That's a window we investigated from on top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just a ladder. I agree. The ladder only barely reached the window. And it was on the stage. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone through there. Yeah, you might be right. Hmm. Oh man. <laughs> it's a large diving board. It looks like something you'd find at a resort. Nothing about it has changed. Okay. Can we check this window again then? I don't think you did check it. Uh, I checked it from the other side. That's the oh. window to the shower room in Ryoma's lab. Oh, right. Oh, right. I forgot that was Ryoma's lab. Storage room. Yeah, okay. This is a pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside, just in case. Huh? Is that? What is that? An electric air pump? It's a telescope. <laughs> I see. You could easily <laughs> fill a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth it, worth inspecting. They used it to see to be able to see uh, Ryoma. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's not very nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. We could stay here forever. Let's go investigate other spots. We don't have time to be lazing around. Isn't that right, Sidekick? Yeah, you're right. Oh, see you then. I didn't mean it. What? Kaito, you literally just said we need to go. <laughs> what haven't you open? checked? What haven't I checked? The monitor. <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't think you've checked the pool or the pool rules. Oh, I, I guess I haven't checked. I've only checked the inner two, I guess. The pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. There's also some specifications written here. Pool is 82 feet in length, 39 feet wide. Pool size is 13 feet on each end. The left and right sides are 8 feet each. There's nothing bothering me about the pool rules, they say. Ow! Not jumping into the pool! Especially at night time! Whoa! Where'd you come from? I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you! But the pool is off limits at night time. See? Now swimming at night time! That would be a violation, right? 
If anyone violates the school regulation, a campus-wide siren will, will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart from the exosols. By the exosols. You go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. Yet. Boop, boop, boop. Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Well, at the very least, no one alive. Okay. No swimming at nighttime. That might, just might play into this case. Pool rules. Okay. Hey, Shuichi, -shoo, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there are any clues here. Well, the energy is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to this case. But you know, if that inner tube is related to this case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they ha they clean it up? Just leaving it sitting out like that? Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get the inner tube. The water level is so low you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could. I suppose you could think of it that way. Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, sidekick? Yeah, sure. Huh. Okay, so where else do we go now? I'm not sure. What have we not checked? What the casino! Place? That's awesome, kid. <laughs> the love hotel! <laughs> I actually don't know. Is there any place where people are crowding? Magician's lab. Ready with there. Uh. Maybe there? Really? Huh. It has an exclamation mark. It does have an exclamation mark. It has to be. Wait, Mike. Okay. What was this place? This is just where Maki's lab is. Some She's rando? just chilling. It's a random place. Nothing special except her lab. Uh, I guess. I'm not sure. Maki, what are you doing here? Early, you said that you weren't going to help, inv uh, help us investigate. Were you serious about that? You'll be fine. Even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. But do you think you can't solve this case on your own? That's completely different. This is... Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty harsh. But my sidekick is wor working his ass off. Sidekick? Yup. Shuichi's my sidekick now. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick. Baka. <laughs> <laughs> the dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy. So this stuff really isn't my thing. Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Why do you care? The guy's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since this, door, this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch. Making sure no one else enters. Is this... An interrogation? Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because all our lives are on the line. Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Then I can ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. How are you able to avoid being caught? Gonta did stop by. I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him. If you lay a hand on me, you'll choke on death. You'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. So, Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against a girl. As Jeez. I listen, <laughs> yeah, I know. 
As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? You are? Well, her alibi's a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts start telling me. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? He's my sidekick, you know? He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Maki alone. There's still more? I guess. Huh? What are you doing here, kidding me? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. One, one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. <laughs> ah, so you're staying with Maki. <laughs> That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? But of course. Since you're here, Suichi, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine it. When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't actually see him at all yesterday. And you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. Gonta was the last one to see him alive at, 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 at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Hmm. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his Shukuchi method. <laughs> so Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Mew saw Ryoma as she was as she was fleeing from Gonta. Okay. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. We, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Witnessing Ryoma, okay. There it is. Oh, yep, nice. I was gonna say, like, if there's something else, I have no yeah. idea. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the next event. The main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. <laughs> In fact, some people think that search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway. The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Boop, boop, boop. See you later. Looks like it's time, bro. Yeah. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the co- I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaido? I mean, sure I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now is all you've got. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. Told you this dude is straight coming up. Dude, I believe in... Yeah. That's true, he is straight believe. I'm going to survive. We're going to we're going to survive together. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. Jay Dagner, didn't you say that like you didn't like Kaito very much? Yeah, he doesn't like Kamina or Kaito. Ah. Uh. I don't wanna live. I wanna die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. No, Kurumi just got sliced in half. No. She looked kind of scary there, too. Yo, easy level up right before this class trial. Easiest game I've ever played. And you know what? I'm just going to teleport now. No. 
wander around to get another level. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't teleport anyway. <laughs> Not a fan. I think you can, it's just, you can't teleport directly to a room, you just have to teleport to the hallway next to it, basically. Oh, well, it's alright, I'll walk. Not a fan of Kaito. I suppose that's fair. I like him, though. I think he's okay. I like Ryoma, definitely doesn't. Though. He definitely doesn't compare to Gonta or Himiko, but he's great. I like him. Yeah. Hi, Shogun. Hello there. Yeah. Shogun, yeah, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Jeez. Oh, dude, stop copying me. <laughs> Get out of here. Bite me. Have you played this game, man? I copied you using my magic. <laughs> You're doing goof. That's excellent. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> what chapter are you on? Uh, this is chapter two. We uh, just finished the... Um, the investigation for the second murder. So, Ryoma just died. If you played, I assume you played this game. I don't like this type of kind of macho alpha character typically. Yeah, you know I can understand that. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Not like we have choice, right? Yeah, <laughs> you are quick to understand. It's as though Manakuma has you trained. We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, won't we? You like cookies, by the I, way. Oh. What? Oh yeah. Of course we don't need to worry. The top set, the top suspect is super obvious this time. <laughs> right, Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? That's not even a Aikido anymore, is it? <laughs> This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. Yeah! Let's put an end to this at the class trial! Yeah, you're right. Let's uh, look at this beautiful Monokuma statue. Yo. Hey, Shuichi, talk to me! Look at him, he's calling out to you. He's calling... <laughs> this case will be so easy, especially with how obvious the top suspect is. Right. Okay, it's the same thing. Right, Himiko? Literally the same thing. I hear males pick on girls they like to get their attention, which means Kokichi must like Himiko! Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> actually, actually, why don't we focus on the class trial and save that for, save that conversation for later? Aww. <laughs> this is all turning out to be not- this is turning out to be not so boring after all. Alright. I wanna- There's gotta be a hidden Monokuma in here. No I found so here. few of them in this game when I played it. Like they're hidden quite well. They are. They're a lot smaller than they were in the other game. Yeah. Alright, let's just talk to the statue. I really like how the, this statue thing. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I prefer buff Monokuma. Yeah. Monokuma is our king. But statue Monokuma is not bad either. Yeah. I like how he breaks the like the pot and the, before he, this happens every time. <laughs> oh yeah, and they have to like replace how it. They, how do they do that? <laughs> the door appeared before us with pomp, as if sending heroes off to war. With pomp? What, is what that? does that mean? What is pomp? <laughs> <laughs> After a pause, we all step toward the door. With pomp. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Pomp. <laughs> Ceremony and splendid display, especially at a public event. Oh, okay. Just as we pass through the door. <laughs> it started up again. Well, you got all your troop bullets. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking. But I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that soon. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop. You never heard pomp? Like the phrase, pomp and circumstance? No. What? 
What does that mean? <laughs> I know what it means. I kind of know what it means now. But what, where have you heard it? Where have you heard it? I'm curious. Yeah, I've never heard that either. <laughs> but this wasn't the end, no. I've heard a Pong. I've also heard a Pong. <laughs> it was only just the beginning. It was only just beginning. Welcome! You hopelessly arrived once again! Hmm? Did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. All right, all right, guys. Sorry, I've never heard of it. Okay. I okay. I haven't either. Like, what the right. heck? to be fair, dude, I have like six years on you. So, <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. Yeah. English is like my fifteenth language. Oof. Actually, we're the ones who use the we're the ones who use the exercise to build this courtroom. But father just took all the credit. But I am happy to be used as a slave by father. You idiots are really committed to this henchman, henchman bit. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. Oh, give me the lick. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a mime. Come on. You put a lot of lab, you put a lot of elaborate detail into this cartoon. Almost like it's for show. <laughs> for show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside and? Oh, Kido me, you are sharp. Boop, boop, boop. Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us, as in, they're no longer with us. You know what I mean? <laughs> in other words, you 13s are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> Easy. Then, the class trial began. It's a weird time to start that song. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a, a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. I I don't want to believe it at all, but if this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish you entrusted to me. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I'll fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. Ho oh, in Ryoma. <laughs> <laughs> the before culprit is Shuichi, main character switches to Kaito. <laughs> Just keep switching. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Switching the date oh. display. That's a weird feature. Alright, so let me take a look at the... Before I end the stream, let me take a look at the truth bullets and see what we've got here. So, I think... I was on the right track with what I have anyway. So Krant Piranhas. This tank is a lot bigger than I actually thought it was. This thing is enormous. What the heck? Um, I have an idea as well. I hope you do. I think Ryoma died. Oof. Would you get that idea? Is that truthful? Not sure. I'm not sure. Is that a truthful? Oh, I found it right here. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Piranha, Cran Piranhas. I think Ryoma was in this tank beforehand. No. But then how did he not get eaten? If he was not in there, if he was in there already. Because if there are more Piranhas than before, then it makes me think that something is in there that shouldn't be now. Hmm. All right, I'm going to stick with that theory anyway. All, right. All these window frames, the the scratches. What are all these scratches from? Let me think. The insect meet and greet. Insect meet and greet. Man, maybe I don't I have no idea actually. <laughs> Man, this is what makes me mad because Kaidas. Uh, 
class trial. I feel like I could have actually gotten that one. I will say this one is possible to piece together. Yeah. Okay. Like, I think you could piece all of them together, honestly, in this game. It's just, dude. But this thing is so. I'm having such a hard. I don't know. I feel like there's always something I'll always miss 100% of the time. Like, yeah. and I guess oftentimes there's a key piece of information in the trial itself anyway. But like, there's there's some some there's some evidence sometimes that like. That like you only you really only need like that one ev start piece of evidence to start invest to start thinking of someone. I'm not saying that that's happening this one or not, but sure. like for example in Danganronpa 2, uh, if you piece together like the the water bottles in the trash can and the fact that Pekka was wet, yeah, yeah like when yeah. she when you met up, like you could piece that together. Like oh, Pekka's probably the killer. Yeah. Right then and there. If Phoenix Wright, you're forced to put it together. Oof. That's oh yeah, hard. Phoenix Wright is so good. Is that game harder? In some ways, in some ways easier. You're you're not limited by time in that. Gotcha. Oh, I see. I really like the format of these the, of the Dingy Rampa games, though. Yeah, you you should definitely if you ever find a way to do it, you should definitely do the Phoenix Wright series. Yeah, I think when it comes out, I think I'll try and get a capture card and then play it on the Switch when it comes out. We'll see. Do what Jay Degner's doing because he's been streaming yeah. for the Switch, so. All right, so as and for as for actual suspects, oof, I I'm lost. Like <laughs> the Phoenix right barely t does not tell you anything. Oh, gotcha. So they give you all the information that you need. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to solve it. Gotcha. Shuichi Kaito. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Oh, these two. If these two die. Either of these two. <laughs> I'll be very upset. Specifically because I have free time in them. Anyone else could die. I don't care. <laughs> At least, I don't. I would prefer not. So what if, what if it was Gonta? I don't want okay. Gonta to die. What if it was Shuichi? <laughs> Shuichi could die. <laughs> Shuichi could. Game over. Yeah, game Shuichi's over. Dead. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what I did when I chose Kaide, dude. Yeah, you're I killed right. myself. All right, all right. So I'm really not sure. Uh, uh, how about this? When do you think the murder happened? Because like, you know, that's been like a whole thing that you've been investigating. Sure. That's true. Okay. I I'm think just it curious happened. if you could piece any of this together. How much can you? Are you pretty good at piecing these kind of things together? No, I didn't get any of these okay. when I was playing. Yeah. Um. Start the class trial? I won't. Not tonight. Sorry, dude. I will be doing the class trial in my next stream. Um, it's almost 11 here, so I'll be going to bed soon. I just wanted to talk about what I think before we finish up. Yeah. But um, in terms of time, I I, I don't know. <laughs> He saw the figure of a girl in lingerie wandering around the courtyard a few times. I think the one of these trials that I got closest to getting by myself was the fourth one, but I still didn't get that one. Gotcha. Actually, I... no, there's another one. I won't say. You seem. I think you're better than I am at thinking outside the box. It seems like you are anyway. At least, uh, watching you play these times gate, you're able to piece things together better than I than I was. So. Hmm. I got a lot of stuff wrong though. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what happens when you make a lot of theories. So when you're thinking about, when trying to guess a lot of stuff. So. Yeah. I think it happened. During this? During the mean greet? What makes you say that? Because if I'm going to my original theory that he was put in the tank, or he drowned, or maybe he drowned in the tank. Um, then it seems like that he would have had, it would have had to have been when Himiko and Angie weren't around. Hmm. 
I guess it could have also been in the nighttime when everyone was in bed, but I still don't really know how nighttime plays into all this. So you're we'll saying see. if it if it did happen during the meet and greet, if that is true, then none of these people could have done it. Oh, I guess that's I. I'm just saying, like if I, I guess if that's we, true. Yeah. That's a lot of not not suspects. The problem is, did it actually happen during this time or not? Right. Man. I don't know, man. I'm not even going to try right now. I really don't think I can figure it out. The next question, is it going to be another one of your characters or is it going to be my first character to die? Let's be honest, it's going to be my characters. <laughs> my characters, easy. Yeah, I, I took all the surviving characters myself. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> I'm like, eh, you can have this one. It's like, it's like, not, uh, it's like Rantaro. I'm like, yeah, you can take him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me everyone else. <laughs> give me <laughs> Ryoma. Yeah. And Monokid. <laughs> Actually, no, you only give Monokid because he swears a lot. At least that's what yeah. I was led to believe. Monokid and Mew I gave you because they swear a lot. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to end the stream, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And I will probably be doing this class trial on either Friday or Saturday. So uh, if you want to stay updated with that, uh, consider throwing me a follow, Shogun Yan. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See you, everyone. And oh yeah, give McDale a follow. As always, give him a shout out. Yo, I'm down. Uh, he is streaming Clan Ad. So if you have not seen Clan Ad and are interested, Please do so. And, I've and only done one it. stream of it. Huh? I've only done one stream of it so he's only, far. Yeah, he's only done one stream, so it's still fresh. You could catch up on that VOD and then be caught up. So, uh, yep. see you guys.